what's going on guys it's risky here and i'm bringing you guys finally what my wife got me for valentine's day and i also got a few bags of some stuff i managed to find at walmart and i got something pretty cool that came in the mail first let's get into this because i've been wanting to look through this for a minute so first you know she got me a valentine's day card or how was one no challenge too big for us that's sweet that's cute that's cute you know first thing i'm gonna go through is this the fast and furious hellcat charger oh if i can even get this off i do plan on opening this one because i have one of these but wow the hellcat is so sick pretty sure this is the 2020 the first year that they came out with the wide body because that's when I got mine. I like those stripes coming down the middle. Those are like carbon fiber stripes. Beautiful casting. Such a beautiful car too. I love, I love driving mine. Next thing, we're gonna look at this Lamborghini that she got me. If I can even, you know, get it. Jesus. Lamborghini Aventador Miura Homage. beautiful car this is such an awesome casting i love that orange paint and those gold wheels oh my goodness this thing looks gorgeous next thing is this willis jeep this is the one i was telling you guys a couple of videos ago swamp chew i think it says yeah from matchbox beautiful i just love the paint on this thing that's the main reason I like. That's a cool little casting. Next thing, I'm gonna go for this next Matchbox car over here. It looks like, looks like an Audi. The Audi TT RS Coupe. This thing is nice. A nice red paint. It's actually a pretty cool car. Those nice wheels. The Audi badging. Both front and the back. You can also see the, the TT RS right there in the back. Next thing, let's look at this muscle machines that she got me. This one is sick. The 1966 Ford GT40 Mark II. This thing is beautiful. This thing is absolutely crazy. I love this one. I love the big fat tires on the back. That thing is just awesome. Wow. This whole casting is beautiful. I don't have many muscle machines, but that one for sure is awesome you know she also got me the hot wheels chocolate you know this one's pretty cool i think that's a roger dodger on the front let's see what's this Ooh, the el camino with the black widow livery on it this thing is sick i love the red tinted glass right there on the windshield that's pretty cool what's that a white interior looks like this casting is awesome 1970 chevy el camino Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, almost dropped it. Wow, that thing is awesome. Let's see what else she got me. Oh, the Nissan Skyline 2000. This thing is sick. I think I do have one of these already. But still, I don't mind having a second. I'm probably going to open this one if I do have one. I'm pretty sure I do, though. I'm pretty sure I have two already. This might be my third awesome casting i love the skylines oh this blue one right here she got me is sick what is this the chevy c10 beautiful the chevy c10 in that beautiful blue oh my god i love the different shades of blue on this casting and the big white stripe running down the middle of the side panels are so sick that looks like a chrome interior. Yeah, I think it is a chrome interior. That's pretty sick. Beautiful cast. Oh, this Superman. I think this is new. This Superman Hot Wheels Premium is so sick. The 88 Mercedes Unimog U 1300. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I saw this set came out and I really want that cool combi. That one is sick, but I'm so glad I got this one because I think I'm going to try and get at least one of each. Shout out to my beautiful wife for getting me this because I do like superheroes. You know, I'm a little I'm a little nerd when it comes to stuff like that. 
Wow, she got me this Austin Cindrix Mustang. This thing is sick. I don't have many NASCAR castings, but I am starting to build a little collection on them. And this one is absolutely sick. Look at that. Awesome, this is my first one from the whole uh, NASCAR Authentics. Oh, this next one is beautiful. I think I have a blue one of these, if I can even get it out. Yeah, I have like a little light blue one of these, the Curtis Sport Car from 1949. Absolutely beautiful. Such a nice casting. It says Kurt on the rear license plate. That's so sick. Such a nice casting. I think that one's pretty cool. Wow. This Ford Shelby GT 350R is sick. That orange paint is absolutely gorgeous. That looks like it's a metallic orange with the black racing stripes running down the, down the roof and the hood. That's sick. And it is from the Factory 500 set. I do have, I'm pretty sure this one is one I needed for my collection for sure. I don't have all of them, so for me to get that one is awesome. Oh, this next one, the Chevy Impala from the Fate of the Furious. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love all the Fast and Furious cars. This Impala is sick. Wow, the red paint is gorgeous. That interior is really clean too, it's nice and white. I think I have this in the little five pack that it comes in. I think this is last, but definitely not least, the Space Sham 70s van. This is sick. I do have one of these, but she got me the factory sealed one, so I'm for sure gonna keep this one carded always. This one is so sick. I do love Space Sham and I love basketball in general, so anything basketball related is pretty sick to me especially space Jam. awesome cast all right guys this is all that my wife got me shout out to her for being such an amazing human being i'm gonna uh, get back to everything else that i got from walmart but shout out to her for being such an amazing person i love her to death and i love that she supports my addiction over here if you're watching this love i love you thank you just know i appreciate you all right guys what's going on i'm back it's been three days since I recorded the last part of the video that you guys just watched. And I've been able to go to the store a good amount of times. And I found a lot of stuff that I don't have. This right here is from J.Cor's Diecast. But I do have like three other bags of goodies that I got from Walmart and HEB that I swung by earlier today. But yeah, guys, let's get into the rest of this because I'm excited to show you guys. First things first, the Dragon Wagon. This thing is awesome. I've seen this over there for, I don't know, since the first time I started going there to be honest and it's been loose i've never seen it carded and i found one carded and i think it's pretty sick that it's from the fourth of july series i've also seen a red wagon one i think that one was called the radio flyer and it was loose as well but i didn't pick it up i think it's pretty sick to find one carded if the next time i go and i see the red one the radio flyer is still there i think i'm gonna have to pick it up the only reason i wanted it carded was because i was able to get it for the same price as i would loose so i think that's pretty sick this next one is the riley and scott mark three this one is beautiful look at those red wheels the decos and everything on this car is awesome i really love that red spoiler it does look like it's plastic though it's still pretty sick but this casting as a whole is awesome and from the rest of the fourth of july set i'm gonna show you guys another one i picked up i picked up the corvette sr2 this thing is gorgeous as well in that red paint looks like a red metallic paint and that thing is awesome. The blue interior with the stripes running down the hood, the stars over the, on the upper part of the hood, right by the little windshields. And look at that, it's two little separate ones. That's pretty sick, actually. I never really noticed that. Beautiful casting. He had a good amount of carded stuff that I ended up picking up and I love everything. Like this truck, oh my God. The custom Chevy pickup from 1962, I think that says. Yeah, beautiful yellow paint. 
I think this one is awesome. I saw it and I grabbed it because, I mean, I wasn't going to let it slip out of my hands. You know, I saw it and my wife, I showed her and she's all like, oh, thank you. I want that one. <laughs> and, you know, I don't mind letting her have it. It's still a beautiful truck. It's still basically in my house. You know, like it's both of our collections technically but this one is officially hers and if they would have had a second one i would have picked one up right then and there too because this thing is sick next up is this ferrari 250 collector number 866 this thing is awesome i love that paint looks like a little nice gold paint metallic paint beautiful classic racer on the side with the 16 meatball and the big ferrari deck on the front beautiful cast i'm glad i found this because I've been trying to increase all the Ferraris in my collection, so that's awesome. And the next thing, I got this high-speed airfoil. This thing is actually pretty sick. And I think I got it for a dollar. The hydroplane, this thing is so sick. It looks like it's from a flamethrower series, number two of four cars. So we got the hydroplane. There's a Range Rover, an Oshkosh snowplow, and the 57 T-Bird. Sorry, I wasn't showing you guys. And this is collector number 385. I'm gonna see if I can find the rest throughout my next few visits over there. But this is awesome. I love it. And I love that yellow paint they got on there with the with the flames. The flames look like they're metallic paint. It kind of looks like there's flakes in there. Maybe it's just my eyes messing up. Nah, I don't think it has flakes in there. Well, I don't know. Maybe one of you guys can let me know. The next thing is this 1966 TV series Batmobile. I do have the ROC version of this. This one is pretty sick too. I think the ROC one is blue, like a dark blue. That one's awesome. And this one is just as cool in my opinion, you know. I love most of the superhero things like the Batman, the Superman, and Spider-Man, anything along those lines, any superheroes from marvel at least and some dc as well i really rock with them but these are sick i have several batmobiles i think this might be like my third one of this one because i also got the chase one a couple weeks ago from j card die and next things up is this mercedes c-class from the race team series 4 this is awesome i really love this paint i really love the paint they used for the race team series back then the thing was awesome with the awesome race team livery on it. And it's on the hood as well, the Hot Wheels logo. That's awesome. Collector number 726. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for the rest of them because I really wanna try and get that series right there. And next thing is up is the 77 Pontiac Firebird. This one is sick. My wife wanted to get this one. Now, I don't blame her. Firebirds are awesome. Well, look at that. It looks like it's a, I don't know what it's got up there in the front, but I'm assuming it's a Firebird, right? But regardless, such an awesome livery awesome decos those gold wheels on there are awesome too all right guys next thing is actually something that i ordered i forgot that i told you guys i'm gonna show you guys some stuff this next thing i got was the 1968 diora ornament this thing is awesome you know i did pull it out because i mean look at this box it's basically already wide open so i might as well take it out but this thing is awesome, so cool. When I saw this, I just knew I had to get it. I think this is sick. Such an awesome little ornament. I'm for sure gonna be using this one on my Christmas tree. This next thing I got is absolutely crazy. I've wanted this for so long. Look at that, the Nissan Skyline BNR34. This thing is cherry look at that paint that engine detail that thing looks sick the gtr emblem on the front of the hood this thing is awesome those wheels are sexy this thing is absolutely awesome that paint on this is gorgeous i think it's so good i love 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 this thing you know it comes with the little patch which i think is awesome and then another one of these little tokens sick look at this guys oh my god amazing 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 Twenty twenty 
Fun exclusive car. Such an amazing casting. Look at that. Wow. One day I want to open this. I'm not sure if I ever will. I mean, I feel like I will eventually. Maybe if I ever get another one. But that's going to be years down the line probably. But that thing is sick. And I didn't overpay for this thing at all. If anything, I feel like I, I got a steal for it. If you're asking me like that. At least comparing it to how much I've been seeing it go for. This thing is awesome for the price i got it i mean it's awesome regardless of the price but i'm so glad i was able to add that to the collection such an amazing casting now next things up i did get several of the jada die cast cars and i got kit from knight rider this thing is awesome you know the little thing protagonist of the film which this thing is an awesome awesome car and then the next thing my sisters actually got me for Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggera. Oof, this thing is gorgeous in that yellow paint. So good. That yellow metallic paint is sick. Those wheels are amazing. But I really love this paint on it. This paint is so nice. I think I might end up opening this one if I'm being honest with you guys. I love it. I love it. I think I'm, I am gonna end up opening it, I'm pretty sure. And then the next, I got two more cars of this size. Well, I've gotten several of these actual Fast and Furious cars. Next thing I actually got was DK's Nissan 350Z. This thing is awesome. I saw this one and I knew I had to pick it up, but this thing is so gorgeous. Look at that. Those wheels, I think, are just so awesome on this thing. So nice. The livery, I like how they use the livery the actual livery from the movies this thing is gorgeous this car was a must whenever i saw it i just knew i had to have it. and another one i ended up getting and i think this might be yeah this is the last fast and furious one i got i had to get brian's super this thing is just too iconic for me when i was growing up watching this movie watching all of these movies i just knew i had to get this one this one is so iconic I love the detail where you can see the nitrous bottles in the back, the nice blue seats and the blue accented steering wheel. It's so sick. The livery, the wheels. I think I already said the wheels, but the wheels again. This thing is awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I picked this one up. And like I said in my past video, I am really starting to collect these. I used to always see them and I just never really picked them up, but I'm glad I did start collecting them because they're pretty sick to have in my opinion, especially as a Fast and Furious fan. Regardless of how the franchise is now, I still like all the action and all the cars that they be having. I just love it all. So that one was a must have for me. Next thing is a few stuff that me and my wife actually grabbed from Walmart the other day. I was able to get the whole entire series of the Stars and Stripes Custom 56 Ford truck. This one is so sick in that red cherry paint. Oh, look at that detail on the top. The Stars and the Stripes, that is awesome. If it had better wheels on it, then the aero disc could be better. But this thing is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, they form a little picture. I didn't really know that they did that up until recently, if I'm being honest with you guys. But I was able to find the whole series. So this one was number seven. This one is number six. The 2018 Ford Mustang GT. And this one is awesome. Such a sick casting. The details that they put into the livery and everything for the Stars and Stripes is awesome. These are so sick. I'm glad I grabbed that one. And then number five is the 1984 Pontiac Firebird, which this one is really cool. I like the red base. I think it is an amazing touch on this. The stars running down the side and on the hood. The stripes running down the side and the hood as well. And the top, if you see that right there. That is so sick. Such a nice casting. Glad I was able to grab that one as well. And of course, the 84 Corvette 
in white, which I think is pretty cool. The red interior is really nice on this thing. The 76 on the side, the red striping, all the details, the stars and the striping down the whole top. The 76 right there in the back left with the gold wheels is awesome so sick i'm glad i got all of these i'm glad i even found them because i didn't think i was and then number eight the muscle speeder which is pretty cool as well in the red paint stars and stripes running down the hood in the side of the car some nice gold wheels the other few times I did go to Walmart, that one was like one of the ones that was left, you know? Nobody, I guess, really picked up many of those from this series, because that one was always there. Next up, of course, the Dodge Challenger. This one is awesome. I love, love, love this one. The Dodge Challenger might be one of my favorites, if I'm being honest. That blue metallic is so nice. All the flakes in there. Or like my wife likes to say, all the sparkles. This one is so sick though. The stripes and the stars running down the whole middle. That is awesome. I love it. Glad I was able to find that one too. Number two of a is the 67 Pontiac GTO. I love the gold base on this. It's awesome. I know I'm saying awesome a lot right now. I should start saying nice again or something. But look at that nice silver or gray metallic paint on this. Of course, the stars and stripes, the nice Goodyear deco right there on top of the fender, the GTO in the front, the 76, and the Hot Wheels deco right there on the back. That is awesome or sick I should say. And number one of eight, the 65 Ford Ranchero. This one might be my, me and my wife's favorite because ever since she got her little pocket car, the Ranchero that I showed you guys from, with all the flames on it, she loves the Ranchero. And I love this casting too. This was one of the ones that we needed to get for sure. I mean, we got the whole series, but that one was for sure one that we needed. Next up, my wife did find another one of these standard Mario Karts, which is pretty sick. I already have one of these in the collection for myself, and my wife saw this one and she wanted to get it for her own. Next thing up is this 1978 Dodge Monaco police car from Matchbox. These are sick. The whole series I thought was pretty cool. I just didn't really like any of them besides the Monaco and the Dodge Viper. I had the opportunity to pick all of them up right then and there, but uh, I didn't really want to. The Charger looked, you know, it was just a basic, probably V6 Charger that they used. So I thought it was, eh, you know, it, I didn't really like it. But who knows, maybe the next time I see it, I'll probably end up picking it up. But this one is sick with that blue paint, the Sheriff decos on the side, the little police lights up top. Awesome, awesome, awesome casting. And of course, I had to get the Viper. The Viper is actually the one I saw when I noticed the whole series there. This was the first one I saw and I think it was the only one there. This thing is awesome. The Dodge Viper RT-10. And of course, the white stripes running down the middle. That is awesome. Phenomenal casting, I love this one especially in that blue paint that blue paint is awesome it's so sick and of course the last two things that i got at that walmart stop were the pagani Huara. i think this was pretty sick in that like goldish metallic color with the gold uh, wheels the black striping down the middle those headlight details are pretty sick but the pagani is such a nice car Anytime I see this one, I want to get it. I'm glad I grabbed this one. And this next one, I think, might be my favorite one out of the whole trip. The 85 Chevy Camaro IROC Z. This thing is beautiful in that blue paint. That blue on blue. The blue on blue on blue. That is nice. Awesome, awesome car. Awesome paint. They did 
great with this with the little iRock deco right there on the side nice wheels i love it i'm glad i found that one because it was the only one there too so for me to be able to pick all this up is honestly amazing to me i love i love finding hot wheels especially some that i don't have it just ah i feel like a kid all right next up are some hot wheels that we actually ended up getting yesterday and of course i had to pick up another Johnny. I had to pick another one up because I do plan on opening this one. My wife found this Porsche 935 in the red color. This thing is sick. That red enamel paint is awesome. And it's such a nice car. I think I, I'm pretty sure I have one in the collection, but I might have two. Those yellow little stripes running down the front and the side of the fenders are awesome. Such a clean casting. I love the detailing. Beautiful car. So she grabbed that one for herself. Another casting I found that i don't think i have but i might <laughs> is the 67 ford mustang coupe this one is pretty sick i love the black i love the little white and the little gray detailing on it the yellow stripes running down the top and the trunk and the hood it all looks beautiful on this car nice gray wheels on there this thing is nice i'm glad i was able to find this one 100 percent I might have it, of course, but I really don't remember. So just to be safe, I grabbed it. And of course, I know I don't have this one. I have the blue one of these, but this one is awesome. The Liberty Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR version two. This thing is sick. I love that red paint. I love the blue one, but I think this one might be my favorite out of the two. Regardless, I love both of them. I'm pretty sure this one is just like the other one. It's just a different color variation, but this one is still pretty sick in my opinion. I love that one. And I found this bad bagger out of the Hot Wheels Flame series. And this one is awesome. That red paint with the yellow flames on it. Oh my goodness. Some nice gold accented wheels. Beautiful casting. I'm so glad I found this because I've never seen this one actually believe it or not and i'm glad i was able to pick it up another thing that my wife ended up getting is this 1972 chevy cheyenne and this one is gorgeous in that orange paint that orange paint those nice sexy wheels on it is gorgeous this thing is amazing i wonder if she's gonna want to pick it up i mean like open it up i mean it looks it doesn't let the door opens on this which is pretty sick but that paint is gorgeous it looks it looks almost like a pearlescent paint you can see kind of the yellow when the light hits it kind of the yellowish flakes and everything this one is sick i'm glad we grabbed that one glad she saw it because i wouldn't have seen it because i was already grabbing a lot if i'm being honest but i did see this the 1987 Ford Mustang GT Custom from the M2 Coca-Cola series. This one is sick. I think it's so sick with that tree on top of it. The opening hood. This one is gorgeous. I don't know how many more I need from this. The ones that recently came out. But I have, I think this is probably like my seventh one out of all of them that have came out. I think it was like eight or nine. Maybe more to be honest that I'm probably missing. But this one was a must have in the collection. This one is sick. Obviously the 90 years of Coca-Cola everywhere on the hood, on the side. You see snowflakes right there on the front fenders all over the side of the car. 1987 as a license plate, the red striping running down the middle left of the vehicle. Coke is it, and I do think so myself. Coke really is it, like Coca-Cola. This thing is awesome. Glad I grabbed this one, if I'm being honest. And the next few cars we got are from the Hot Wheels Boulevard set. This custom 1970 Chevy Nova is honestly probably my favorite pickup out of the whole series. But this one is so sick so so sick oh my goodness i love that gray enamel paint they got on this the black looks like there's stripes on that hood the roll cage it looks like it's orange it's orange or red one of the two i think it's red actually but this one was a must-have as well this thing is awesome and as you can see here that is the full series and i did pick up most of them for the most part 
you will see which one I'm missing here shortly. But I did find the 1970 Plymouth Superbird. This is probably my second favorite that I was able to pick up because this one is sick. The Superbirds are so nice. I love the big wings that they got. The nice bright yellow paint that they got on this one is awesome as well. The black top. Obviously, the premiums always got real riders on them for the most part. And this one is no exception. Such a beautiful casting. The Volkswagen Classic Bug, which I think is, this one's pretty cool. I love the wheels on it. I love that purple paint, actually. I love the metallic paint on it. So sick. I love anything metallic paint. I love being able to see the flakes and the light. The nice, what is that, like a little beige, tan kind of side panel color. This thing is sick. Look at that. Beautiful wheel. And the last one I was able to find was the 66 Pontiac GTO. It's like a little blue shade, which is pretty sick. I love those wheels, of course. Those are awesome. Whoa. It looks like that wheel right there might be bent i'm not sure yet um, i'd have to open it to fully see but you guys do see that right it's not just me right there but regardless such an awesome paint job on this thing i love the flakes the nice shade of blue such an amazing casting and that's for the most part all the bullet well that is all the boulevard cars i was able to find throughout the weekend and I think I have one bag left, and it's what I got from HEB today. All right, guys, I was able to find the Fast Fish, which now that I think about it, I might have this one already. I might have it. I'm not sure if I left it the first time I ever saw it at a Target a couple weeks ago, but I did pick it up because I think it's actually pretty cool. If I didn't pick it up at first, I think it's because I just really didn't like it at first, but I think this casting grew on me. I do like it. I do like the casting. I like the yellow paint on it. As you can see, there's striping on the hood. Half the hood is black. It looks like it's, it looks like that part of the hood is see-through, which is pretty sick if it is. Yeah, it looks transparent almost. The fast fish on the hood as well and the striping coming down the side. Beautiful, beautiful. It looks like it's got a chrome interior as well, which I think is pretty sick. So I grabbed that one for the collection. Another one I grabbed, which I'm pretty sure I don't have this one is from the fast and furious spy racers i don't really collect much of these but i probably do have like four in my collection now including this one i think i have this one the dune buggy the hyperfin and uh what is that chrysalis fogo de seda and i think i might have the mastari rock ripper so I i've been trying to find the crawler for the longest because that one looks pretty sick i saw the pulse type v there today but i really didn't want to get it but this one is pretty cool i like this one this yellow paint is sick what bro what are you talking about man yellow paint did i just say yellow paint i meant white paint i'm over here getting my colors confused but i do like the little detailing right there on the side of the door but overall this casting i think is pretty cool i do plan on opening all of these that i have probably not the fogo de seda but i think i probably am gonna end up opening it because it's a pretty sick casting it's the orange one i got ryu asada's tuned volkswagen golf mark one this one is sick the yellow tinted glass i already have one of these but i did get this one because i wanted to open it up so i'm gonna open that up for you guys right now and the skull shaker this one is pretty cool too and i do have one of these as well from the ryu asadas rides shake and go this one is nice i did get this one hoping to open it as well so i'm gonna be opening up both of these right now and the last two things I got are actually monster trucks, and I think these are pretty sick. The Alarm 5 with the little Alarm 5 die cast. This one is sick. I think this one's pretty cool. I haven't seen it in yellow. I saw this one there as well. And the reason I picked this one up is because the cars aren't actually crushed. The little die cast cars. But this one is pretty sick. The 5 Alarm and the 5 Alarm. Awesome, awesome castings. Because if I do ever open it up, I want to have both the monster truck and the die cast version of it. And the last one I grabbed, of course, I had to get the Roger Dodger. This one is so sick. The monster truck and the die cast. I love the detailing on the die cast. Orange with the black little hash, hash marks right there and the stripes. Wow, look at that. It looks like there's 
somewhat of a flame going on the back. It says 68 on the side and 68 on the trunk and as well as the monster truck. This one is sick. Looks like they both got blue bases on them. I didn't want to go too crazy, so I only got these two. But like I told you guys, I'm going to be opening these. So let's get right into that. I don't open much of my castings, but I'm glad I am opening up these. As you can see, he does shake around. This thing is sick. It looks like he's got a nice little silver metallic paint on it. A nice purple on the side, I think it's pretty sick. And the guy himself looks mean. Look at him, that one is sick. And of course, we're gonna open up the Volkswagen Golf as well. So sick, oh, I'm out here throwing my hot wheels around. Look at that. I love this one, this one is so tiny. This is so sick, nice white paint, nice yellow tinted glass, like I mentioned. That exhaust is pretty sick. The detailing on the side, beautiful, beautiful. It's got some nice headlight details on the Volkswagen badging on the front. Not tail light detailing, but overall, such a nice casting. Look at that. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's all that I got throughout the weekend and from last week, whenever I got the gifts from my wife for Valentine's Day. Shout out to her again for those awesome, awesome gifts. That's pretty much it, guys. You know, quick little recap. I did open up the, the Golf from Ryu Asada's rides as well as the, oh, the bone shaker those are cool i did pick up all four of these boulevard premiums i'm upset i wasn't able to get the delorean but i'll find it with time the delorean is the one that i probably wanted more than most of these if i'm being honest but all of these are pretty sick castings all of these are sick and i'm glad i got them for the collection and then of course my wife got the chevy cheyenne in this beautiful orange color i got kit from knight rider k's Nissan 350Z, as well as Brian's Toyota Supra. And of course, the Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggera. Awesome, awesome. All of these are awesome. And of course, most of the stuff I got from Walmart, the Bad Bagger, the Nissan GTR Liberty Walk, 60, what's that, 67 Mustang Coupe, the Spy Racers car, the Hot Wheels Speed Team, the Porsche my wife ended up getting, the Hua Rog, got two of, the I Rock, pretty sick, the Mario Kart, also pretty sick, and of course, like I mentioned, the second Hua Rog, this Firebird, this Race Team Mercedes C Class is so sick. I am beyond glad that I got that one. Of course, I got these two monster trucks, the M2 Coca Cola Ford. Mustang GT, the entire Stars and Stripes collection as well. The Dodge Viper from Matchbox, as well as the Dodge Monaco police car. The 4th of July series cars from J Cars Diecast. The Riley and Scott in the Dragon Wagon, as well as the Corvette SR2. Beautiful cars. The Ferrari 250, which is sick. And of course, the custom Chevy pickup that my wife stole from me. The Batmobile, which I have several of. Not of this exact card, but I have several of the die cast. Of course, the high hydroplane. And of course, what my wife ended up getting me, the Chevy C10, the Ford Shelby GT 350R, the 70s van from Space Jam. I'm out here rhyming, I don't even know it. The Lamborghini Aventador. Oh my God, beautiful casting. The Chevy Impala from Fast and Furious, amazing. The Curtis Sport Car, the Audi RS Coupe, the El Camino, the Willys Jeep, and that awesome bronze paint. The Skyline that she gave me as well, 2000 GTR. This premium, the Hellcat wide body, which you know what guys, I'm gonna open this one for you guys because I already have two of these, I think. So why not open the third? Oh my God, am I gonna be able to open it? Oh my goodness. 
Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. The carbon fiber striping is beautiful on this thing. Look at those details. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful casting. The Hellcat is obviously my favorite. Just like my own personal one, except mine is blue. And my carbon fiber stripes don't have the little yellow outline on them or the yellow badging. But this thing is sick. I'm probably gonna keep this one in a display if I'm being honest with you guys. And of course, I also got this ornament, the Diora. Beautiful. The Skyline, beautiful RLC car. Beautiful, beautiful. The Muscle Machines, 4 GT40 Mark II. The Austin Cindric NASCAR Authentics car. And of course, the 88 Mercedes Unimog U1300 with the Superman livery on it. But yeah, guys, that's for the most part everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. Look at my Hellcat, awesome. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave me any feedback down in the comments down below be sure to follow all my socials they are as well in the description that's it for me guys i'll talk to you guys later peace